Hola, hola amigos, it's Miss Faith here. I am so excited to see you again and practice our Spanish. But before we start, can you look out the window and see what kind of weather it is today? ¿Qué tiempo hace hoy? Hace sol? Llueve? Hace viento? Hace calor? Hace frío? Nieva? ¿Qué tiempo hace hoy? What kind of weather is it at your house today? The next thing I want to practice with you are your colors. So let's do a fun game. So if the parents are listening, when I call the color, you'll need to pause the video for your little one to go and find something that is the color that I say. So as soon as I say the color, I want you to go find something in your house that is that color and bring it back. Okay, here we go. The first color is find something in your house that is the color rojo. Did you find something? The next color to find in your house is something that is the color amarillo. One more color. Find something in your house that is the color azul. Very good. I hope you were able to find things. So say them with me now. Rojo. Amarillo. Azul. All right, amigos. Now let's practice our numbers. Ready? Get your counting fingers out. Here we go. Say them with me. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Muy bien, amigos. Now, when I show you the number, I'm going to show you a number, and I would like to see if maybe you know what number this is in Espanol. So when I hold the number up, let's see if you remember how to say it in Espanol. Are you ready? The number that I am going to show you first is this one. What number is that? Did you say uno? That's the number uno. Say it with me, uno. Very good. Let's see if you get this one right. The next number is this number. How do you say that in Spanish? Did you say dos? Yes, that's the number. Oh, our next number. Oh my, this might be a little tricky. Let's see if you remember it. This number is the number. <gasps> tres. Very good. Number tres. The next number. What number is this? Oh. 
this is the number cuatro. And we have one more number to practice. What number is this? That's cinco. Very good. Alrighty, amigos. Now, we are going to learn something new today. And the words that we are going to learn today have to do with a season. And do you know that there are four seasons? And right now, we are in the season of springtime. Springtime has beautiful things happening, like flowers growing and all the little animals are growing and being born and the sun stays out longer and the days get nice and warm. And so right now we are in the season of springtime. And in Spanish, we say the word primavera. Can you say that with me? Primavera. Muy bien. And now I have some things to show you that have to do with springtime. So I'm going to show you the objects and say the word in Spanish and you say the word after me. The first thing I'd like to show you are some beautiful flowers. And the word for flowers in Spanish is flores. Can you say that? Flores. Look at all the colors of the flores. Look, I see, I see the color azul right here, azul. And I see amarillo back here. Look at that, lots of colors. I see verde. So these are flores. Can you say flores? Muy bien. Our next springtime object is an animal. And this animal is called a sheep. This is another kind of object or another thing that you might see in the springtime. Lots of baby sheep are born in the springtime in primavera. And the word for sheep is oveja. Say it with me, oveja. Do you know what the oveja sounds like? Does the oveja say meow? No. Does the oveja say ruff, ruff? No. What does the oveja say? Ba, That's right. Say it with me, oveja. Very good. All right, our next item is something you use in your garden because during springtime, lots of people like to make gardens. And so you need certain tools in your garden. And this tool looks like this. Look at that, this is a little rake to rake the dirt and the soil to plant your seeds. And the word in Spanish for rake is rastro. Can you say that with me? Rastro. Very good. All right, I have more fun objects for springtime. I have another animal. And this animal is something that hops and has soft, fluffy fur and long ears. It is a bunny. A bunny rabbit is an animal that is very popular in the springtime. I have bunnies in my yard. And the word for bunny rabbit is conejo. Say it with me, conejo. All right, and the next thing I have, this is something else you use for your garden and you put them on your hands so that your hands don't get dirty while you're gardening. Can you think of something you use in the garden that you wear on your hands? Oh, did you say gloves? Very good. The word in Spanish, guantes. Guantes, say it with me, guantes. 
Now I have one more thing to show you for springtime. And this is an animal. It's a kind of an insect, a kind of a bug. And it flies, but before it flies, guess what? It is a different animal. It is a caterpillar. And after it grows and grows, it turns into a butterfly. And the word for butterfly in Spanish is mariposa. Say it with me, mariposa. Very nice. Now, I hope that you practice those springtime words and I hope that you keep practicing your counting and your colors and your numbers and all the things that you've learned. And I hope to see you again soon. Adios.